as also was mentioned, Al Muhim and Al Philosopher, Ashab Al Kalam, he alati abad to him on Kitabillah Ta'ala, on Sunnati Rasulillah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, wa illa for Quran, Sifa, min Sifatillah, Kama, fi Hadith, Aoudu bi Kalimatillahi Tamad, min Sharima Khalak. So then he said, and what's important, the most important aspect of this is that the people of philosophy and the people of uh, Kalam, Ahl Kalam, meaning people like the Asha'ira, the Mu'tazila, uh, other, uh, the Jahmiya and other various sects that are, uh, tend to pr prefer the their intellect over the Nasus and in trying to make judgments about the Nasus with their intellect that these people have got the people far from the Quran far their understanding far from the the book of Allah the Almighty and the Sunnah of the message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he said therefore the Quran is an attribute from the attributes of Allah I mean because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, kalam Allah that's one of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sifat is that he speech that he has speech subhanahu wa ta'ala kalam and this is also evidence in the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where he said a'udhu bi kalimatillahi tamma min sharri ma khalaq before entering the home, as is narrated in Sahih Muslim, that a person should say, I seek refuge in the speech of Allah, the perfect speech of Allah, from the evil of what he created. Allahu Akbar. Then he gives us the wajah dalala, and then we'll end here. This is beautiful. So he said on Khola, that this hadith was on Khola radiallahu ta'ala anha. And he said, bil He said, and to seek uh, seek refuge in the creation is impermissible. You know, if you say, A'udhu billah, A'udhu bi ummi, A'udhu bi fulan, A'udhu billah min dalek. If you say, I seek refuge in so-and-so, or re refuge in my mother, this is impermissible. It's impermissible to uh, make isti'adha bi to uh, seek refuge in the creation. This is impermissible in Islam. And so then he said, فَهَذَا دَلِيلٌ عَلَىٰ أَنَّهَا سِفَةٌ مِنْ سِفَاتِ اللَّهِ وَاللَّهُ مُسْتَعَانٌ He said, and this, so this is evidence that the speech of Allah is a characteristic from amongst Allah's characteristics. Why? Because the Prophet saw isti'adha bi kalimatillah. He said, a'udhu bi kalimatillah. He said, I seek refuge in the speech of Allah. So if the speech uh, were not from the sifat of Allah, it would be impermissible to say that. You don't say, a'udhu bi A'udhu bi baytillah tammat la. You can't say, even though this is idhafa ila Allah azza wa jal, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the bayt of Allah refers to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning that this, that, that is something that is from the mulk of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and this is min baba tashrif of giving that place an honorable station. However, we don't say the house of Allah that it's a part of Allah or that it's a characteristic of Allah. And that's not, we don't say that. That's why it would be impermissible to say a'udhu bi baytillah. But instead we say a'udhu bi kalimatillah. I seek refuge in the speech of Allah. Letting us know there's a distinction that the speech of Allah is from the sifat of Allah. It's from the characteristics of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has kalam, as he mentions in the Quran, in Surah Tawbah, 
And in Surah Al-Baqarah, about Kalam Allah, Hatta Yisma' Kalam Allah, or Hatta Yisma'una Kalam Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about the mushrikeen from amongst your neighbors that, you know, you should be gentle with them and not fighting them. And that they, sh uh, you know, that maybe they will hear the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that will cause them to come, become Muslim. So, it's very important for us to understand the Quran is the divine speech of Allah and it's uncreated and we stick with the ibarat from the salaf and then we're safe. And we don't have to go further. We don't have to ask about the ink on the paper. We don't have to ask the Mus'haf was printed in such and such country, uh, this and that and the other. We don't have to get into these philosophical debates. Plus, the Quran is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's the divine speech of Allah. It's uncreated. Yes, this, the Quran, what we have on our shelves that has ink in it, it has paper, but still, it contains the Qur'an. It contains the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is the speech of Allah. That is the speech of Allah that's written on those pages, that's printed on those pages. And it's ghayna makhluk. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.